Good day everyone, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. If you have just found my channel, welcome. I hope you hit the subscribe button and join me. This is a channel all things witchcraft related. Spells, oils, powders, potions, candles, uh, and there's just really honestly with me there's no telling what else I'll throw in there at you. But I hope you join us and if you are returning well you guys already know thank you so so much I really truly appreciate you joining me I'm trying so hard to get back in the swing of things and to post a little bit more often but no matter if you're new or returning I'm so happy to see you guys um, I also wanted to say I had a very very quiet Yule and which is I guess can be a good thing and I I'm still in party mode so, so you guys are just gonna have to forgive me a little bit I'm still you know you guys already know I try to combine holidays and if I can turn it into a week or two week celebration then I certainly will uh, so I'm likely there's no telling what's going to be on my agenda for the next week or two, but I am definitely going to touch bases with you guys. But I, I also wanted to come on and show you a little bit of love mail and thank my client. This is from a client, and I want to say thank you so, so much. It was just an absolute pleasure and honor to work with you and for you. Um, but they actually gifted me a crystal ball and I, I, you know, I thought about it and I thought, well, maybe I, this is not only should I share this with you, but also share with you how I, you know, treat something that comes into my space because you guys very well may be going out and shopping and going, you know, it's such a great sale, especially at a metaphysical shop and, you know, I just got to have it and, you know, but this is specifically... I'll get it out specifically for a crystal ball um, and I, it came um, a little I believe it's an acrylic stand which is just adorable and I wanted to show you that this um, the first thing I did uh, of course other than admire it and say I gotta thank thank them for this is I took uh, my moon water and I did a cleansing of moon water please don't use your holy water it has it it will have salt in it so you don't want to put any salt on your crystal ball you can cleanse it that way um, I did that and I also you can also put it over the smoke of your incense or a flame your from your working candle either one and basically you can say whatever you like but I would say something like into this smoke I release all energies that no longer serve me all negativity that surrounds me and all fears that limit me so mode it be uh, you can do that like I said over smoke uh, your incense your sage you can even use maybe maybe a little bit of your sage spray but um and that's what i did after that i took this i did and i buried it in my backyard now not incredibly deep but um i feel like the home that i'm living in now and of course the surroundings is so positive and i've gone and done so much work to make everything positive that I, I wanted it, it, the crystal ball, to uh, soak up all of the earth's goodness that she offered. And I've had it in the ground for two or three days. And of course, today I took it out and I cleansed it again, of course. Um, but um, with the uh, new moon, that will be on December 26th. What I will do, I probably will put this on my altar until the 26th. And from there, with the energy, because my altar and my sacred space, my temple space is so 
incredibly, incredibly energized. I mean, it's really just incredible. I, I wish I could explain it to you, but I will put this on my altar space. Um, and after that, on the new moon, December 26th, I will put it in a windowsill. Probably maybe just for an hour or something like that. Not, not for terribly long because you certainly don't want sunlight to hit it. Um, and from there on, use it. Uh, I, the way I use a crystal ball is when I am doing a spell, I often will have, and definitely in my sacred space, uh, I often will have it there and it will help me with my concentration. Um, not that my concentration is bad, but very often, you know, as far as meditation and concentration, I will definitely use a crystal ball or a, maybe a little bit of water you can scry in or even a big cup of coffee you can also scry in. Uh, I have scryed in mirrors and I don't care to do that um, for several different reasons, uh, but, um, and I, I treat a crystal ball kind of like a, a pendulum or a spirit board, uh, something like that. It's, it's not necessarily that it's coming to you. You are projecting into it from your third eye. So what, what you see intuitively is going to be projected in, into here for you to see maybe a little bit clearer. But I very often will take it and hold it here, and of course up to my third eye and hold it here. And not only will I put my energy into it, but I will take energy from it also, because it carries a lot of energy. Um, you know, I hope this helps you guys a little bit anyway. Uh, I want to remind you of Wednesday Witches Brew. Uh, I had a, a very good friend ask me a question, and I I know, I don't know about everyone, but I, I'm sure there are, are a few of you who are dying to know exactly how I came to practice, uh, where I draw my energy, and how I became so powerful because this person knows that once I set my mind to a spell and once I start doing something, uh, especially a, pro a prosperity spell, uh, things like that, uh, things start to happen. Uh, and um, so, yeah, I I mean, I, I, I'm gonna definitely explain how I practice. I'll do it to the very best of my ability, but I hope you join me on Wednesday, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day, and thank you again for joining me. With that, I'm going to say Mary part, and I so hope to Mary meet again. Goodbye, guys.